some more sims for you and today i am here with the newest uh update about the kits so i heard about this obviously when everybody else did about the new uh the three new packs that we were gonna get the two kits and i think one of the ones the next one was a game pack if i remember a game pack or a stuff pack i cannot remember what the last one was but I was actually going on um my youtube channel today because I have like my youtube channel and then I have like my YouTube that is my personal, that is just like where I go and watch whatever I want. And so I went onto like my Sims YouTube today and I noticed that a bunch of Simmers, like bigger Simmers than me and the like millions <laughs> were reporting on uh, the new kits and how a video came out or announcements came out about them. And so I was like, okay, wait, I had a whole video plan, but now I need to pause on that to go uh, report on this. So this is where we're at. We're at the Sims community uh, website. I've been trying to get rid of all these little pop-ups, but they refuse to leave me alone. So we're just gonna have to have them in the video. All right, so let's talk about these new announcements. One of the kits is called Moonlight Chic Kit. And the last one is the uh, Little Campers Kit, which I know everybody was like, oh my God, we got another kit for the kids. It's gonna be so fun. And the Moonlight Chic, I swear, please be date nights. Please be date nights. Like, I want it. Also, I looked at her outfit. I love her outfit. I love his outfit. I love this little tent. It kind of reminds me of, what was the tent we just got with, um, oh my God, the kids tent. We just got the kids tent with the last pack. Why can't I think of it? Henford on Bagley. Oh my God. Why am I not thinking? Cottage Living. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it looks like the kids tent from Cottage Living. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read basically what this says. It says a three-minute read. I'm going to read. I want to commentate. And I don't think there's any videos on the actual kits. And I don't believe we've ever actually gotten a video on any of the kits, if I remember right. Okay. Hey, that's Hawk and Simmer. Hi, Hawk and Simmer. You just Twittered me. <laughs> okay. But anyway, um, so yes, yeah, so I've got to just read this really quick. So the Sims team has announced Little Campers and Moonlight Chic as the upcoming kits for The Sims 4. Today, Maxis has announced a double kits release for The Sims 4, including Little Campers, a build and buy kit, and Moonlight Chic, or Moonlit Chic, maybe. Well, no, Moonlight. Moonlight. Moonlit would be L-I-T at the end. Um, a creative sim kit. And we all know I love me some creative sim. I also love build and buy for, like, my personal games. Not a great build and buy person over here, like... I can barely build a house, but I, I persevere. <laughs> That's what we're probably going to do. Um, but yeah, so both kits are slated for a May 26, 2022 release, which I heard they were coming out on the same week. I was like, what? And then I heard it was coming out next week when I was watching people's videos from like two days ago. And I was like, oh my God, okay. So I will be spending the, what, like $12? Because they're like, what, $5.99? I'm oh, sorry, $4.99, $5, and then you add tax. So probably like $12 for both. Um, both kits are slated for a May 26, 2022 release and will come out on all platforms, including Origin, Steam, and Console. Wow, look at y'all console players. Official platforms. Each kit will cost $4.99 US dollars or a price equivalent to your local currency. Again, I live in the US, so it'll be $5 for me for each, plus tax. Down below, you can find the official assets, key features, and description for the upcoming kits. Let's see what the two kits have to offer. And so I'm wondering if they're like going to tell us everything about the kit or if they're just going to give us like the main meat and potatoes and be like, you're going to have to buy it to find out what else is in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so the Sims for a Little Campers Kit. The Sims for a Little Campers Kit is bringing DIY playful objects. I'm guessing they mean bringing. Bringing DIY playful objects for your younger Sims from a blanket fort to a DIY outdoor movie theater. Oh my God, wait, pause. Let me go back up to this picture. So this is the blanket fort. That is so cute. Outdoor movie theater. Do you guys remember when we got the, was it the movie theater? It was the, it was the movie or whatever. Um, was it a stuff pack? It was a stuff pack. It was the movie stuff pack that we got. Um, and I remember everybody was making outdoor theaters and then we got seasons. And then everybody's outdoor theater stopped working because the rain and seasons was just like, 
yeah, you thought electronics worked in the rain. That's cute. And so, like, I hope that this works in the freaking rain. I will be so upset if we get another movie theater thing and it's not going to work in the rain. Like, that is actually going to upset me. And so I'm wondering what the difference will be between this outdoor movie theater and the ones that people were making with, like, those big movie theater screens from that last pack. Just because I'm like, are they just recycling the same stuff and just downsizing it for kids? Or, like, what's happening with that? Anyway, okay. Um, with a DIY outdoor movie theater, ooh, nope, <laughs> with a DIY outdoor movie theater, along with new toys, furniture, and camping gear, and more. Stay up past your bedtime. I love that, because I recently also just gave my Sims their curfew back for, like, 11 p.m., because I have a teenager in my household, and these guys be wanting to go outside. I'd be like, hey, can you go do me a favor and feed the llama and the cow? And they'd be like, you're outside. You're breaking curfew. And I'm like, no, I just sent them outside because my grown sims are sleeping and they have, and these kids have full energy. So make them go do a chore, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Stay up past your bedtime with cozy, crafty backyard camping gear for the Sims 4 Little Campers Kit. Play games outside in the safety of a DIY blanket fort. That is so cute. And I wonder if they mean games, like if you can actually actually like put um like the void crater game set or the um uh, don't wake the llama or like checkers or like i wonder what the games are or if they're going to be games that are going to be specifically for that fort already built into the system okay uh this collection has everything you need for a night of creative family fun oh so that means that even the adults can go in it which i did i do think i checked and i think the adults can also go in the blanket for play tent thing that we have from Cottage Living because I had my teenager go in there one time so I'm assuming the adults can also go in there. All right for the kids let the kids take over the backyard with cute furniture playful camping gear and toys. I wonder also if you take your kid out to like Selva Dorado to go camping if that will affect this camping or even if you take them to Granite Falls for camping if that will affect this camping like if they'll be really good at it or not. Um and toys, create childhood memories roasting marshmallows with your stuffed Sasquatch pal in the glow of a million string lights. Okay, that is cute. And when I think of Sasquatch pal, I'm guessing it's going to be a new toy and not like that little jelly bean colorful bear thing that we have. <laughs> um, A crafty look. That's not a cardboard box. It's a car. Oh, that is so cute. Or a rocket ship. Embrace DIY aesthetics with toys, blanket forts, and even an outdoor projector made out of bed sheet and other household items. That is so cute and so off topic, but also on topic. So I went uh my fiance a while ago to go see his sister and her daughter and they, she was watching Coco Melon with the baby. And I was like so entranced by this Coco Melon thing because I work currently with kids, uh, elementary school age, up to fifth grade. Why are my fifth graders talking about Coco Melon? <laughs> and so I'm sitting here as a grown adult like, isn't Coco Melon supposed to be a baby show? And I'm watching it, but why was I also entranced by this ridiculous little kid show? I don't know why. I think I was just fascinated by like, oh my God, this is entertaining their children. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like, it was a whole thing. And I remember specifically one of the uh, Coco Melon theme songs or whatever videos that I saw was this little boy and he found a box and his mom was about to throw away the box and then he was like, no. And he made the box a race car and like he was driving around a turtle or something on the box and it was a whole thing. And so that's what this box mentioned just reminded me of. Wow, okay, random whole off tangent, but also on topic, kind of, sort of. Anyway, okay, so official assets logo. So this is going to be the little campers kit. Oh, uh, what happened? I'm like, what happened to the little campers kit picture? Here we go. This is the little campers kit picture. So much closer. Oh, that's going to be the Sasquatch toy. That is so cute. And I love this little string light set. Oh, my God, marshmallows. Oh, this is very cute. I like that little that little fire pit looking thing with like the trees and the fire. This chair is adorable with the little uh, paw cup holders and the piggy cup holders. This looks like a kid built it. This looks like a kid built it and I'm here for it. All right. And then let's see. Let's see what else. Oh, these are the screens. Okay, so it's a blanket, a little blanket fort screen. Like they were saying like you hold up a sheet or whatever and you put the screen up there. That is interesting. What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm like interested. Um, I'm guessing this is like some type of generator or something for maybe to power this, the screen. I don't know. And I know the moon, the full moon, everybody was like, they howled. There's going to be werewolves. If we get werewolves as like a camping thing, that'd be actually really interesting. 
I can see the gameplays for Twilight right now. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then we, Team Jacob. Anyway, um, so we also have this little chair, which kind of reminds me of the chair that we already have, the like rolling chair. Really cute. I want these string lights. I wonder if these string lights are going to be new because they kind of look like the ones we already got with the last kid pack from way back when. Um, that came in like three colors. They came in like yellow, blue, and pink, if I remember right. And that's what these look like. But I would love new string lights. I love string lights in the Sims. They look so nice. I never know how to like decorate them, but it looks so nice. That is the cutest little chair, that bear. I love this multicolored chair here. I don't know if this is a lamp or not, but that is adorable. She's loving her Sasquatch friend. So cute. Is that a gnome with a marshmallow? Oh my God. And then what is this? It's like an awning. I don't know if this is an awning or if this is like... Uh, um, a monkey bar thing. I don't know, but that's so cute. I love it. And I like the little chair. It looks so nice. I am so glad now that I have two kids sims in my game currently. I have one teenage boy and I have a girl and a boy sim in my main family that are kids. And then I have like a girl kid sim in one of the cousin's houses or actually one, uh, the half sister's house. And then I have a teenage girl and boy in the cousin's house. So I'm going to be using the hell out of these uh nights I can already tell like I could also imagine this what teenagers like having a sleepover like not just kids like to have uh sleepovers and and be outside and party teenagers would love this with like a little fire pit I could see the adults having a nice little date night this would be so cute all right the sims 4 moonlight chic kit is a creative sim kit done in collaboration with the Parisian I always say that wrong. Is it Parisian? I know it's Paris. I just really quickly had to correct my dumb self. It is Parisian. Literally in editing. I'm like, girl, what were you saying? <laughs> it's Parisian. All right, that's all. <laughs> Parisian. Parisian creator, Paola Locatelli. I think I said that right. Or Locatelli. I don't know. It brings casual and party outfits for adult sims with accents on sparkles, classic, and trendy styles. So this is the second kit we're getting. So far, the first kit, love it. We'll come back to that at the end when I tell you guys my thoughts. Um, so Moonlight Chic Kit. Dress for a night to remember with the Sims 4 Moonlight Chic Kit inspired by Parisian creator Paul. Oh, Jesus, I just said it. Paul Paola Locatelli, I believe is how you say it. Swoon over the color, flow, and modern style of a collection that'll help your sim look great for dates and maybe break some hearts. Okay, okay. Modern Parisian style. Pair shorts with sneakers for casual fun. I would totally do that. Or dress up your uh, look with some silk or sparkles. The youthful fashion of today's of today draws inspiration from classic styles to build something new and trendy. Can I just pause there real quick? Because I know I definitely saw this a while ago. I think it was on Twitter, on like Sims Twitter. And people were complaining. They were just like, oh my God, we have so many clothes for adults and young adults. We don't have anything for elders, blah, blah. We need an elder pack. And I think somebody even responded like, get Create a Sim and leave us alone. <laughs> Which, I'm not, not Create a Sim, get uh, custom content and leave us alone because we don't want no old people clothes. I was like, wow, y'all are mean. But anyway, <laughs> the whole reason I even bring that up is because they were just saying about youthful fashion. And I'm just like, but not everybody who's of the... Who, who, who's of the older persuasion wants to dress like a grandma. Some people want to be a hot grandma. They want to be a glamma. Let, let them live. Like, geez. <laughs> and I'm like, if we truly do have some, like, quote-unquote older uh, clothing, stereotypical older clothing, like the cat sweater, uh, the, the, like, slacks and stuff, like, stereotypical when i say stereotypical i mean stereotypical go watch a old movie and that is how the grandparents dressed right and so i'm like let us live all right let the grandmas and grandpas live okay <laughs> um timeless romance a slinky dress okay no i need to see this creative sim i need to see this creative sim fashion i'm ready for it a slinky dress, flowing shirts, and smart jackets, okay, all right, are staples that are always in style. I will actually agree with that. I love me some fashion. At work, I'm always getting compliments on my fashion. <laughs> in general, I usually get compliments on my fashion. Help your sim find that romantic spark with fashions built to last, even if the romance doesn't. You know what, sims, y'all trifling. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's go into the Moonlight Chic Kit. See, this, this looks so nice. I would wear the hell out of that outfit. I love that. I love that. I'm just going to say that now. Like, oh my God. She looks nice. 
I would wear this too. Like, I'll take the crop top and the pink and the pink suit. Like, sir, you want to hand it over? That looks so nice. So I am very interested in this. I am very interested. When this comes out, I'm gonna be going crazy. Oh my god, that dress is so pretty. It looks like it's slinky. Like in the back, it looks like it has a cutout back. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, we got a new blazer and short set. It kind of reminds me of when did we get that? Oh my god, was that what the romance pack? Was that what the romance pack where we got the well and everything? Um, it's like the the one set. Oh my god, y'all know what I'm talking about if you know what I'm talking about. It's that blue and purple or that pink and purple like suit and it's shorts and a top and it's like tie-dye. That is what this gray reminds me of. It looks like they used that as like a base and then kind of like chopped and screwed it and made it into this. Nice. I love this. I'm in love with this top. That top is gorgeous. Those shorts are beautiful. That jacket's new. I don't know if that jacket's new. I can't tell. I'm assuming it is because it's in the picture. And then this one in the back, I think, is what the lady up here has on. And then I can't really tell what this is because I just see the back of it. But yes. Oh my gosh, she's about to go stomp the yard. Yes, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You look like you belong in the 2000s or early 2000s dance-off movie. Yes. Okay. What is this? Is this like a snake? or like a scale type skirt that is pretty okay um I think these are the jeans we already have from like the college pack and I think this is the dress oh yeah this is the couple up here that's right here we get to see the front oh this is like ombre that is gorgeous okay uh I think this is a new shirt I can't really tell I know this is a new shirt because we don't have a guy shirt that's stuffed in like that uh, besides maybe one, and I call it the bummy shirt. We got it with laundry day. I hate that shirt so much. It's so ugly to me. <laughs> but that's what it looks like. That's the only shirt that I know on the guys that tucks in that I can think of off the top of my head. I like this. I really do. I think that's the last of it. Okay. And then I also just wanted, wow, these pictures. Okay. I also just wanted to read these comments really quick. Shout out to y'all people who commented. The little camper thing is too cute. Excited for more kid activities. And I'm always for more clothing. You are my spirit animal, NQ. For once, I'm excited for kits. These both look awesome. Uh-huh. I'm in agreement, in agreement with Maya. The little camper kit cute, but everything's so huge. Why? <laughs> I've heard that too. I've heard the complaint too. People are like, why is everything in The Sims like three times the height or length or size of The Sim? Uh, but everything's so huge. Why? Just why? Sims team, something for babies and toddlers for a base game update or kit would be nice. I could actually get behind that for e either or a base game update or kits. And I would probably actually lean, might be controversial because I know so many people and I, I've been in this boat before too, are just like, why? should people get free stuff and we paid for that content like um what was the last one that we just got i can't think of it we had something that we paid for what was, oh seasons seasons like people paid for seasons right and so they got the calendar and they got all the seasons or whatever and then sims decided that they were just going to release the calendar and i don't remember if they actually released seasons i can't remember off the top of my head like if they actually released like rain and snow and sleet i think they kept that uh exclusive to the actual people who bought the pack but they did release that calendar with the holidays and so many people were so mad because they're just like why did we pay for this it's like we paid for rain like what are you talking about and so i get that but i actually think that if it's something for toddlers and babies it should be free because toddlers and babies is a part of the game that you just got to go through like every sim is going to be a toddler or baby or have a toddler or baby at some point usually even if you're going to age them up later like they have to get to that stage so I'm just like, I think that should be free. That's just my controversial, I guess, opinion. And then will the kids finally be able to have sleepovers like they could in Sims 3? That'd be interesting because now we got bunk beds. We got this little camper thing. I'd be down for that. And we got get together. Like you got all these groups and stuff where you can make rules and have them come in, which also another side note, Sims team, can we please have this update? updated likes and dislikes thing I would very much appreciate that please give me more to like and dislike for my sims as well as more activities to do <laughs> from the get together pack because I see that y'all added some stuff when I was messing around and I was trying to get the clubs together but I would definitely like more like it'd be so nice to have some more but yeah okay so that is everything all together, do I think that these packs are worth the $4.99 US uh, money? If you have the money, I say 
I think these would be two nice little splurges to add some extra content to your game. I know I'm kind of a Sims 4 hoarder where I feel compelled to buy almost everything. Even the Star Wars kit. And I'm not a Star Wars person, but I had to get the Star Wars kit because I need to complete the collection. I'm that person. <laughs> but I'm going to get these because I want to do reviews on both of them. I think they're worth it. I hope they drop at the same exact time on the same day so I can just do both reviews in one. But I think that for $5, I don't think you can really go wrong. Even if you don't like the stuff, you can still have your randomized Sims wear the clothing or you can still do activities with um, kids in your neighborhood and things or, or date night or whatever with the campers pack. So I think it's a nice little splurge. Okay, I was trying to make this video 10 minutes. It is now 20 minutes. I don't know how, but <laughs> um, that is all I have for you guys today. Leave me a comment down below. Are you going to get these packs? If so, which one? And what features are you looking the most forward to from the packs? Which features or which item or what have you? Because I'm living for all the creative sim stuff and I'm living for the gameplay that it sounds like is gonna come with Little Campers Kit, all right? If you have not already subscribed and you watch my content, please subscribe, I would love that. My birthday is soon, so that'd be a nice little birthday gift to me. I actually had a bunch of people like comment on one of my last videos and a bunch of them subscribed and then I don't know if YouTube called them or if they all just like, dipped after I subscribed to them which is not unpopular and I'm not mad about it just a little disappointed you know as the parents say <laughs> but no for real though if you watch my stuff and you haven't subscribed yet and you like what I do then just like you know like the video and maybe leave me a nice little comment and maybe subscribe and then you could leave me a comment telling me that you subscribed and you could also check out my twitter where I just post and like and do random things <laughs> okay so that was my little youtuber spiel telling y'all to you know help your girl out <laughs> all right I will see you all in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember my model, Sim School Super Pete. It's your girl, Tony Time, and I'm out. Bye, guys.